same brain. One, two, two three. three. The same, same brain podcast. podcast. We should probably practice that a little. Bit. At least we wore like the same shirt. Not that was planned. an accident. Absolutely not planned. I walked. I've sure. never owned a shirt like this. Why are you wearing it today? Because I was like, this is, look, it even has like the little things on the sleeves. I bet it's the same brand. Target. Mine's not Target. Yeah, well, it's mine like, was Target. Yeah, mine was not. Mine was from Bloomingdale's. Yeah, mine was like $12. I don't want to talk about You got these mine. nice little armholes? For ventilation. I could use right now. It's getting warm up here. For the, the audio, they can't see it. I have ventilation in my arms. Yeah, it's like a nice slit. Yeah, Um. anyway, uh, we are also wearing very similar shirts. Mine's blue. Yours is like a pink. Yeah. And, um... Once again, the same brain strikes again. It does. But today we're going to be talking about a bunch of things. There's been a lot happening in the tech world. Mm -hmm. PlayStation 4 had their announcements. WWDC is coming up. Well, it's the PlayStation announced the PlayStation 5. Did I say 4? Did I say 4? It's okay. It's okay. Oh my God. Do you know how many times I've said PlayStation 4? Yes. uh, All of Every single time. Okay. PlayStation 5. Hello. It, it looks great. It looks so good. I know people, oh my gosh, all the memes were there putting like binders around like all this stuff. Like it's just great. Uh, the memes were amazing. It's really and crazy all like the people, the console wars. I love, I love reading about them and following it. Me too. It's such drama. Oh yeah. I would say that I am more of an Xbox person when it comes to playing console just because most of my friends have an Xbox and that's kind of what I've always sort of used. I mean, I, I do have a PlayStation as well. I have a PlayStation 4. <laughs> We could talk about the announcement that they didn't just have. They didn't just, that was years ago, years ago. I actually just uh, brought out my PlayStation 4 to play The Last of Us to get ready for The Last of Us Part 2. Mm, that's, Which, depending on when yeah. this is posted, it just came out. Wow. So, very exciting. Big also, news. we've got uh, WWDC. I'm very excited. It's a whole new WWDC. It's a virtual experience. And what's interesting about it is normally tickets are like $1,500 for developers to attend. But it's it's free. It's that's, all online. That's expensive. That's like a maxed out iPhone 11 Pro Max. It is. Or Ooh. a lower end MacBook Air. Or, maybe. yeah, really anything. But that's it's going to be interesting to see um, how that... How that uh, that happens i'm getting discord notifications oh we have a discord now so much has happened since our last podcast since the first one was many many months ago many moons oh my ago. god you are getting discord two full moons ago this is great if you want to join the discord um it'll be somewhere you just search for it and you'll you'll find there'll it. be a link somewhere if this is on youtube in the description yep if it's not on youtube then look go on to YouTube. twitter or youtube <laughs> All right, so what should we talk about today? I don't know. Are you playing Animal Crossing still? Did you mm. buy turnips this, this year? I bought this year. This year, yes, this year I bought a lot of turnips. I did buy turnips this week, and I regret it because I have not been checking my prices and I haven't been playing as much. I have still been playing a lot, and we also started live streaming on Twitch. I think you just started streaming. I did the for- last podcast. Yeah, which was two months ago, and I was streaming. I started on YouTube, so I did, like, I kind of forgot. I did a couple on YouTube for, like, a couple weeks, and then it's been officially a month on Twitch a couple wow. days ago. So so I think yeah. I've been streaming for three weeks. I joined just so that we could do a squad stream for Call of Duty. and She won't play with me. Now all I've been doing is streaming Animal Crossing. I want to do a 1v1. Okay. It'll be fun. But then also we can play Warzone, because they also just recently added duos to oh, Warzone. Oh, that's cool. So you can play you know duo too so that's pretty fun i did a 10 and a half hour live stream trying to find raymond on animal crossing which i feel like a lot of streamers do a pretty long amount of time of of live streaming but having not live streamed in a very long time it's a lot sitting there for 10 and a half hours was um it was everyone was very concerned about me yeah they're like you need to go check in on your sister and i'm like there's nothing I can do. This was her journey. But I will say, for the next time, you have to check out Treat Stream. It is incredible. Okay. Treat Stream. I this was is like so against this. I was like, I don't want people to order me food. But then I was also like, this is actually kind of funny. So I set it up just to kind of do a test. And you add, you know how like how you add those little like buttons like donate, yeah. subscribe? You can add one that it says like, uh, what does it say? feed me or something it says like feed me and you click on it and before that in the back end you go and you select local restaurants you pick what you want people can choose what they want to send you so I've got like iced coffee and like really? tomato soup and like Trish sent me a pizza from Fresh Brothers no. during my six well, seven hour stream that's what I was wondering I'm like do you pick the food that you mm-hmm. get so then you choose what you want and choose what you want they choose what they want they to can send choose you what they want to send yeah and they just click it pay for it and it goes come it shows up that's so crazy. It's really incredible. It's been really interesting kind of diving back into the whole world of live streaming because it's it's fascinating. I mean, I, if you guys don't know, I did six months 
back in the day before Twitch TV was Twitch. It was Justin TV. And like that whole experience, like it really messed me up. Like, yeah. I'm not going to lie, like doing that for 24 seven, that was not healthy That's at insane. all. I mean, you had a camera on your head. Yes. Which was disturbing for everyone around you. It was weird. How I had did you not get arrested? Because no one knew what I was doing. They were confused. Like, they're, they're like, like we're what? not going to mess with that. I mean, I definitely got kicked out of like some restaurants before and different retail stores because they didn't know what I was doing and it was weird. I mean, I had a webcam on my on the top Would you of my say, hat. I mean, obviously technology has changed so much, but like how easy was that setup compared to your setup now? Well, if I wanted to do that, I would just use my phone. Mm. Like go out and use my phone and do a live stream. So in that That's sense, true. it's very easy. But then you couldn't use your phone for anything else. Well, get another phone. What I'm saying is <laughs> back then I had a laptop that was connected to a webcam that I would have to like plug the laptop in because I didn't want it to die. And then I would swap out the external battery. And then, so I had, I had several batteries. What were you doing for internet? We had these uh, Sprint eVideo cards. And I think that the whole Justin TV phenomenon was the reason that Sprint had to put um, like a cap. A cap, yeah on data because we destroyed it. I mean, we just ran through so much data. I mean, That's it was like 24 seven. Wow, that is kind of crazy. So well, now I wonder what, you know, you can, you can hop right back into it. Twitch has the IRL like backpacks. I don't think we I, can take it, I you know, like do that? When we leave the house again. Do, It'll be great. Maybe we should. Well, let me look at them. Yeah, IRL backpacks. Twitch pretty cool. IRL backpacks. They can probably hook you up. I'm just going to assume maybe. Oh, yeah. No it's way. Unlimited IRL. This is basically what we did. The, I know. Oh. You've never seen this? Okay. The I, IRL backpack? I think I tried to not see it because I lived it. <laughs> this is it's cool. ridiculous. Okay, what is, what is this? Is it a laptop that's in there? Well, I don't know. But I just know they exist, so I'm not actually sure. Building the best worldwide LTE data plans available. Oh, Wait, yes. you can rent for $85 a day or buy starting at $2,300? What? Are there any? Oh, oh my I didn't goodness! Know you bought it. I, I mean, I guess. I, of course. What I mean, is this? What is oh, this? Oh, I have made a noise. This I don't think comes through Twitch. That's like something else. Okay, so there's wow. This is wow. There's a lot of different Twitch options. Twitch devs streaming backpack makes you feel like an alien. That's March twenty second, twenty eighteen. Yeah, they've been out for a while. It's not like new new tech, but there it is. Um, I mean, you could realistically make your own. Honestly, as well. you could just use your phone. You could use your phone. Well, use your phone. I think there's multiple. LTE cards in it, so that's what makes it a little bit different. We'll have to do some research. Yeah, we will. We should rent one for a day. Oh, okay, there we go. Eighty-five dollars, well worth it. Done. Okay, so we've been streaming. It's been going very well. Yeah, it's been it's been pretty fun. Yeah, the community has been very nice. I mean, the fact that they've been helping build this Discord server. So I started one just for myself. I called it the IJ Army, and then I was like, Jenna, you should mm, no, you shouldn't start one. Let's just drop the I, and it's now the J Army. Yeah, I was like, this looks like too much work because everyone kept saying like, oh, do this, and like I spent five hours researching. I was like, I'm exhausted. I can't. I've taken on too many things. So then I made you take it on, and then we all just under one Discord, which it's fine. Hop we, on, do we have a podcast? Hop on Discord. Do we? Uh, we no, we don't. Okay, cancel. We, um, we can add right. one. We can add a podcast section for the Sounds Discord. Good. We took on a lot of random things, like even this podcast. I we've been planning on doing it for so long, and finally we're just like, let's just record it. And we don't we have are. the set gear that we needed. That we still need soundproofing. No, but we don't. Yeah, we do. It, there's a lot of echo. I don't like it. Okay, well then we do. We do. We, we'll probably set up a whole podcast room in an mm. area I've already been doing. in the closet. We could. That originally, before I built this closet out, when I moved into this mm -hmm. place, that was going to be the podcast room. I remember. But now it's the tech closet. We have a lot of stuff to do. We do. WWDC. We don't have merch. Okay, don't. WWDC. All We're right. We're talking so about merch for <laughs> some rumors. <laughs> WWDC rumors. What have you heard? My favorite rumor is the new iMac. It's supposed to be, what do they say? It's like the iPad Pro design. I iPad mean, it, Pro design language. Thinner bezels. Picture, if you're listening to the audio, an iPad with a stand. That's the new iMac. I and mean, look at this. It, it seriously looks just like the iPad. Yeah, it does. It's Thinner like bezels. Big mm. iPad. Similar to the Pro Display XDR. Well, that makes sense because it's like, you know, they gave you a little tease with the iPad and now they're like, bam, iMac. Oh, shit. Sure. I, I scared you. I scared myself. The Pro Display <laughs> is so beautiful. And I it got is really the nice. version that has like the matte finish on it. So for, oh, I said braggy. Do you know that who... that matte finish is actually an extra $1,000? I mean, 
What? You paid nine hundred dollars for wheels. Six hundred? I think it was like eight hundred. You need to just six to nine hundred dollars for wheels. Up. I'm not judging. I'm just saying. But don't back up too far because then the, the mic won't pick you up. But so I will say so that know. the quality, like you could always expect good quality when you're buying an Apple product. So. It's true. And the funny thing about the wheels is now I'm running into a problem because every time I plug something into it, there's no brakes on the wheels. So every time I plug in, so yeah, <laughs> it just rolls away. The whole thing. I'm like, no, 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 come back, come back, come back. Well, that's like the one day you had those weird rolly things on the on the kitchen counter and I was like oh are these for your are these like accessories for your wheels like brakes they were clamps for clamps. uh for weights for like dumbbells yeah, no. speaking of which that's a really cool product that I'm going to be working on a video it's called tempo <gasps> I, I know it's I've been looking at it so amazing it's basically like I don't know how to well it's not that difficult to explain so it has 3d sensors in it so it'll let you know if you're not doing workouts properly. It comes with a whole cabinet system. It has like a TV built into it. They have they haven't started the, doing the live classes yet. Oh. But the trainers, if you do the live class, it'll be able to see like a stick figure <gasps> of your avatar. So if you're doing the exercise wrong, they'll be able to say, "Hey, uh, stick figure hey, number one. Hey, stick figure number one." Basically, they'll be able to see kind of like what the group is doing. So no if a bunch way. of people are doing something wrong, they'll be able to correct it. That's really cool. I didn't know they could do that. Yeah. They haven't done that quite yet just because of COVID and oh everything gosh. else. That brings me back cool. to like the, the Xbox Connect days where it's like, it's isn't it like the same kind of technology? Actually, yeah. it is a Connect, which yeah. is incredible. I love it. I know. I'm it's excited. Cool. I have to use yours, but I hurt my shoulder, so I haven't been doing uh, anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just not, you know, we don't want to overexert ourselves. Yeah, I've got a podcast and I'm a streamer now. I'm, just, I'm really just taking a Streaming break from it. Streaming is exhausting. It's, it's, it, it's it really tough. It is exhausting. That's why Treat Stream treat, saved me. One day. Somebody stole my grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah. I had to reorder. So I ordered a that grilled happens. cheese and tomato soup. And Postmates said that it was delivered. And I saw the location of the guy pop up. And he was all the way on the other side of Los Angeles. Yeah. he. You know what he was doing? He was eating, eating your grilled cheese. Eating. That's what he was doing. And then I saw him disappear from the map. And it said, please leave a tip. How was your order? I go, but my grilled cheese is not here. What if he got mugged? Then I feel bad. But I just hit reorder. That's fair. That's fair. Um, yeah. Okay. So back to, back to WWC. WWC. So we talked about the software. What about the uh, you know the new um, uh, the new uh, ARM based Mac plans, Justine? What do we think about that? Jenna's really just teeing me up. What here. do we think about it? So this is interesting because their plan to shift. They're going to be providing some insights and efforts to transition away from Intel chips made in the house, which makes sense, especially because I mean, first of all, when you're using Intel chips or any other types of chips, you know, they're not building them themselves. Yeah. So they'll be able to really dial in and make something that works exactly how it should integrate with like a MacBook. And this is all also being based off of, you know, the iPhones. Like they have all the, the Bionic chips. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited to see how that all kind of works out. It is very interesting. I'm also excited. And these types of things are announced at WWDC because it is a developers conference. So giving this information up front to developers and all of the, de the dev kits, allows them to start working on this for the future. Mm -hmm. Well, so. saying like the first uh, ARM-based Macs probably won't be coming until 2021, which is actually almost here. Isn't that crazy? It Half of 2020 is, is gone. Oh, oh man. My. Does that mean we're getting a new iPhone soon? Uh, it is almost iPhone season, it feels oh, like. Oh, no. It's like at this point, we're already starting to think about the iPhone 12. iPhone season. iPhone I, 12? Yeah. Do we think that's what it's going to be called? Well, I mean, I think what if so. The, what if they go back and they're like, iPhone... Zero. 11 S. Who knows? We don't know. But no, most no of the rumors are saying 12. So we'll iPhone see. 11 Pro Max. Well, I, you know what I didn't like? I didn't like the name iPhone 10s Max. 10s. 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 Wasn't that a thing? 10s? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I didn't like it. Oh, well. The name. I like the phone. Phone was great. Phone great. It was like, everyone kept calling it the XS. And then it's like, 10, you're like, no, but it's 10s. You're like, yeah, but it's an X. And you're like, but it's the, uh, yep. E. And it just was like, it was weird. Because it was an X. And also people keep calling Final Cut Pro X X, but it's still Final Cut 10. I have called it Final Cut Pro X still for the longest time and by accident. Like, I know that's not what I it is. I think I just call it Final Cut. I think I call it X. I think oh. I just call it Final Cut. <gasps> I just say Final Cut Pro. No number. Well, that's fine. That's fine. You're fine. No, I'm, you're fine. I'm fine. But if you say it. X, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a little slap on the hand. No. Slap. No touch. Here, I'm going to put a slap hand sound. 
Stop bands. Okay, so uh, let's see. Lola, iOS what else, 14. What oh, this is also exciting because we get to find out more information about what is you know in the works for iOS 14. So there's already an, an early test version that was leaked. Ooh. So here's a few of the things that they have that they've leaked here. Of course, on Mac rumors. Love you. The home I know screen. You would. Apps on the home screen may get a list view, which I think would be really great. Mm -hmm. I don't like having big apps. I actually, I like big apps and I don't know why. Anyway. Didn't go well. Didn't go, it didn't go as well as I had planned. But you can have a list view of apps, which I think is really great because I actually just search for apps. I never really Same. just use like my, I don't scroll through. The only thing I use on my home screen, it's like, okay, I know my messages, my email, like a few on my home screen, but scrolling through, no, I just search for it. <gasps> the next thing is a fitness app. Apple is working on a fitness app that will let users download guided workout videos on iPhone, iPad, Apple TV, and Apple Watch. This sounds like a Peloton competitor. It does. I am obsessed with Peloton. I'll tell you what. If you want to become a runner, you should quarantine yourself for three months with a treadmill. Um, if you don't have a treadmill like me, it's really having the reverse effects and I walk upstairs and I'm tired. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Also trying to run outside with a mask on, I've tried and I'm like, nope, this is really, it's really, really difficult. Really, really difficult. Can't believe pe people pay money to do that. Those like masks that you wear. Well, that's to restrict training. your breathing so that if you're like, you know, training to run yeah. in higher elevations. It's tough. It is really tough. But, you know, even Peloton has a bunch of digital classes. So if you don't have the treadmill or the bike, you can still participate in, in the classes as well. It's like true. on your phone. Half of my office is like my desk and my setup. And then the other half, I put like my little yoga mat down and like do some classes. I just haven't been doing them. But um, yeah, you don't need weights. You just use body weight. And they're still a really good workout. Not just right away from iOS 14, but have you seen some of the COVID compliant gyms? Yeah. Very, very strange. It's so crazy. So there's this one place that I saw. I was on Instagram. It was like Redondo. They have, like, they made this makeshift pod with, um, like, PVC pipe and clear shower curtains. I saw it. And every little section is kind of blocked off in like this little like pod area with some weights. It's pretty cool, yeah. They've you got like the benches and like weights and like some other little things in there. It's like, this is so strange. It's weird. It's crazy too. I wonder if people like now that they've figured out how to work out at home or like maybe they bought equipment, like will they go back to a gym? Yeah, or now are companies going to be starting to shift more into marketing towards at home, which I've seen a lot of different fitness things pop up over the past couple of months. Mm -hmm. Some that I've been following for a while, but even like Tempo, like it's really great. That is really cool. And, and I feel like it doesn't take up that much space considering it like all the weights. What I like about that is because I almost ordered, um, you know how we always do that body pump thing? Mm -hmm. Like I almost ordered one of those like dumbbells, but then I was like, oh, I don't know. Like where am I going to put this? But then with like the tempo, it has like nice little storage for all the weights. Yep. And you just close it up and I'm like, oh, that's actually very, very like compact and like neat. And so, even on the back of it cool. is really cool too, because it has a place that you can put the, the weight bar Ooh. and a place to, to mount like the, the dumbbells. And it even ha comes with um, a heart rate monitor. Oh. which is pretty oh, cool. And that is nice. That's and pretty cool. the price, so I'm looking here, it says it's nineteen ninety five. Oh. How much was the, the weight set you were going to buy? I think it was just like, uh, it was like four or five hundred and you still have to pay monthly for their thing. Really? And all you got was like the, um, like the barbell and I think maybe like three sets of weights. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at all this stuff yeah, you get. Yeah, and I think like I was paying like $15 monthly and I wasn't using it because I was like, well, I don't really have the equipment now. This That's is when I was like in the gym and actually using their equipment but yeah yeah so this comes with the whole studio you get the weights it does have a membership fee but at this point you know if, yeah so it's 39 dollars a month um but yeah i love it it's like, pretty cool. i've been lifting weights i've never lifted weights before like i've used like little tiny ones but now i'm like getting shredded i'm ready i'm oh i'm always ready my shoulders has to heal and then i'm ready oh it's popping out again oh, last God, time two months body. ago was when i first heard it remember i added that snapping sound yes people were very concerned about it it's same it's after i posted the podcast they're like how's your shoulder i was like that was two months ago <laughs> it's yield mine still we're hurts good. it still hurts third party wallpaper packs we're going back to wwdc apple may allow developers to create wallpaper options that's the cool. iphone that would be able to be installed through the wallpaper section oh <gasps> 
you have my wallpapers. wallpapers. Jenna can make. Well, can I like, apply? I, maybe we'll, we can find out. Oh my gosh, that's exciting! I, for, I have abandoned it since I haven't been taking any photos. Jenna skipped to the end because she wants me to hurry up and stop talking about. It's a little 14. warm in here. I'm not done yet. Messages may get at mentions in group chats. I like that. Yeah, our we, friend Ed. He's really tough sometimes to get a hold of. We're like, Ed, we're outside, and then like 20 minutes later, we're like, Ed, we're outside. But if we can at Ed. Because we're in so many group chats. I feel like I don't really talk to just one single person anymore. It's usually like... I talk to you in like 17 different yeah, chats. It's ridiculous. So that'll be kind of cool. That'll be interesting. Yeah, so it's you can... Um, oh, a feature for retracting iMessages. <gasps> Finally. It, it makes can't sense. be that hard, right? Well, it could be. Because if you think about it, I have iMessage on my iPad, on my Mac, on yeah. my other Mac, on my other Mac. Yeah. So, and then like... All those places to be able to retract that one message from yeah, everything. Yeah, true. I guess, I guess. I feel like that would have to be something where they do have the iCloud message sync. Mm. So it would just consistently be syncing to iMessage. I'm not sure. We'll, I'm not I guess sure we'll find either. out. That's pretty. I like that though because there's sometimes I just you know you just say things and you're like oh I didn't mean I, that was an accident I or that was mean. not supposed to go to you. Oh Oof. yeah, been there. Hmm. Hmm. Oops. Oh, hey, here's a screenshot of uh, a conversation that I was going to send to my sister but about, I about you. you. But you think this time message is about you, don't, don't you? It was. Uh, yep, it was. Oh, oops, accidental mm, screenshot. Anyway, oh, boy, oh, okay. how many lies can I tell myself to cover this up? Apple Pencil is working on a feature that will allow users to handwrite text in any text input field using the Apple Pencil. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Are you really going to use that? No. Probably never. That's so small. Somebody would. Somebody would. I mean, yeah. Somebody would. When you're would. working on a review video and you're like, okay, this is what you can do and then never again. Somebody will use it. I actually did have somebody ask me fairly recently about doing handwriting to text on the iPad. And I thought that you could do that in notes. And guess what? You can't. But you know what you can do? You know what you can do? You can do it. On the Surface yep. Pro X? Yes, you can. It's not out yet. But that's really funny because all of the things that I saw were all uh, Microsoft. Surface and Microsoft, yeah. Well, it's cool. I mean, it's cool because well, here's the thing. I can here's see the thing. it for a tablet, but like a phone mm -hmm. is so tiny. Well, these are both. What size is this one? Uh, this is 13 inch. This is also 13 inch. Yeah. They look good. Mine's they do pink. Look good. Mm, pink. Um, D brand, hello. Uh, Look, the Nike. I'm ready. Yeah, for I'm gonna it. have to get you one for the deeper. They also have them for the surfaces, which next time okay, I will have one for time. you. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, hold on. I need to, oh. I need to shift myself. Oh. Ooh. Okay. 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 Oh. We're, okay. We're moving on. Here, this is I'm excited about. Watch OS seven. So I'm just gonna scroll down here seven. to go to the blood oxygen tracking. <gasps> That's what I was excited about. Me too. So according to a code found in the leaked version of iOS 14, Apple is working on Watch OS 7 and Apple Watch Series 6 feature that will allow the Apple Watch to detect blood oxygen levels. I want you to detect my blood. Detect my blood. Take. So this is. Oh, we have a. We have a Discord notification. I'm even getting Discord on my wrist now. Traffic is moderate. Oh wow. Traffic must be. We're picking up, up things. Yeah, pick, picking back up again. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of cool because being able to... So I got you the the <laughs> the um, cup holder so that you can... So you don't make that sound? I forgot. I put it... I took it out of the cup. So if you guys don't see this because you're not watching a video... I'm setting things down and picking them up. I got us cup holder like coasters so that we wouldn't make the noise. And then Jenna is picking They're up They're like her. shock resistant. Here's what we can do. We're Let's just... Why don't you... You said we have to have a mug. I do have to have a mug. don't want the mug. <laughs> we need a mug. This isn't a podcast if we don't have a mug. It's I think we should podcast. make mug. I think our first mug... Same brand. Merch. I already have actually a great idea for a mug. Okay, well, don't say it. I'm not. Don't say it. I'm not. Okay, so we're going to have mugs soon. Are we... Okay. Soon? I don't... What does soon mean? Like, I don't know. Is it in, in posting a podcast soon or like us talking about merch soon? Because that's like a two-month I mean, month I to like started a year. Discord in two hours and then so I spent you 20 hours because now I know that you are capable you just I'm aren't. very capable you just need to you just need to get me focused what's next school time Meh. what is school time allows oh parents my to manage which apps and complications can be used during that's that's, that's not gonna that's fine that's cool I mean I think it's important okay yeah there's a lot of cool stuff the Control children center architecture it's no longer based on extensions Ooh. so that'll be 
Oh, share, share your, your face. face. Oh. Oh my gosh. Watch OS 7 users will be allowed to share specific watch face configurations with one another. What's your watch face? It always changes because oh. I accidentally swipe it. Hmm. So I don't actually care what mine is. Oh, okay. Well, Do you? I, yeah, I have mine set for walkie talkie, which I hardly ever use anymore. Hmm. And then I have kind of the daily layout of my heart rate. And then I have my activity, my messages, and then an easy way to do a workout. Mm. So that's my watch face. Mine just is like whatever I accidentally swipe through and it <laughs> is for the day. Okay. It's not really. Eh, I'm kind of weird. Okay, so we talked about that. We did talk about what WDC. about? I'm still not done talking about WWDC because I'm very interested to see how they're going to do this whole virtual thing. I mean, I guess they stream it live all the time. So, like, how is it really going to be that different? But they have, like, <laughs> good point. That's a really good point. <laughs> the it's point just, that Jenna has made is very good. It's just, like, there's people in the audience and now there's not people in the audience. This is a great point that Jenna has made. It's not, like... But... That's not all because there's lots of courses and things like that. So not just the actual keynote. So there's like a few days of events and learning. So it's going to be streamed live and it's just not going to have people there and you watch it on the internet. So, okay, not that weird. Anyway, moving along. You're right. You're right. You're right. What should we talk about next? We were going to talk about um, PlayStation. Well, yeah, the new PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. Pretty exciting. I, I can't believe... That that's going to be pretty soon. Like, holiday. this is holiday. Yeah. And, and holiday is holiday. Yeah. I know, Justine. <laughs> but I think, um, I mean, I'm just kind of hoping that maybe, like, the Xbox will get here a little bit earlier, you know? Like, maybe. Maybe. Like, maybe they've got some review units, and they're like, hey, review this. I would be like, yes, absolutely. What do you think about the look of the uh, Series X? I think it's great. I like it. I love I mean... It's going to be interesting to see how actual, like, how big it really is. It's not that big. I mean, like, I, guess we, I guess I saw Austin holding it in the one like, in his review as it's well. It's like, it's not, I mean, think about your Xbox now. It's what, I think it's also like what, like nine, I think it's like 9.8 pounds. We Let's used see. to carry our Xboxes on planes with us when we traveled. We used to have an Xbox games case yeah, that had a screen on case. it, which was, wow. How are did. they going to make an updated one for the new Xbox? I don't know. I'm sure they'll do it. I saw one of my friends, he also made a travel games case, but like made his own Ooh. and like had custom like cutouts for it. It was really, That's pretty really cool. cool. Well, I'm very interested when they got the new consoles. Um, we should get a games case. We should. That'd be pretty oh, fun. Oh man, that's awesome. But what I'm, I mean, I've been playing so much Nintendo Switch because it's so portable. You know, it's a completely different thing. It's not even in the same category, but to be able to just travel and like play games is is something that I feel like. What are you? Well, why are this you is why I'm excited because have you been? Well, I tried the um, the X Cloud. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's not out yet, but I'm kind of like thinking that X Cloud is kind of going to be a thing when the Xbox Series X comes out. Like, will they both have you know something to do with each other? And also, what is really exciting because when 5G is finally a real active thing, think about how quickly. And how fast gaming on like mobile devices is gonna yeah. be. Think about X Cloud, like it's gonna be instant. I mean, that's with like Stadia as well. I mean, yeah, because you're Stadia, playing yeah. games in the cloud. I really didn't, I actually haven't played Stadia yet. I haven't either. Because the initial launch of it, it didn't get such great reviews. But yeah. then I've heard some of my friends who are not like very like avid gamers that, that got a Stadia, they're like, oh, this is great. I love it. I was like, huh. But yeah, like okay. right now I could pull up my phone and I could play Halo. It's true. Like I can set this down and get a controller. I think it also works with any Bluetooth controller. So you could probably even use the uh, PlayStation controllers with it. Hmm. And you can just play Halo. So imagine yeah. if you could do that with any like Xbox game. I mean, you know? 5G is really oh going to change everything. It's, yeah, it's going to be incredible. I mean, it's in some locations, obviously. But once it is everywhere and accessible, it's going to be great. It's going to be pretty cool. Did you know that 5G... Um, was the reason for COVID? It's crazy. I don't want to laugh. It's because, crazy. I mean, just the conspiracy theories out there. You can go down a rabbit hole and within 15 minutes, just, I believe it. It Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's I see true. how it happens. I'm it's like, hey, true. did you guys know this? They're like, no, Justine, that's yeah. not true. I'm like, oh. Get, you're like, you're going to go okay. outside. Um, I need to get off the computer now. Yes. Yes, you do. But yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to see what happens with the X Cloud because it's, it's pretty cool. Pretty interesting. Um, okay, digital versus non-digital PlayStation 5. I'm going digital. 
I don't want a disc. I don't either. I the last time I don't even remember the last time was that I've used like any disc for any game. I can't either. And I mean now that we have like uh, like PlayStation Now and then we have you know like the Xbox Game Pass. It's like if you are a part of that, you can just stream and download these games and play them for essentially well not free but whatever your monthly yeah. thing is. So it's like having all of those accessible. But I do see some people are like, well I can go to GameStop and like buy an old game for four dollars. I'm like that's true. That is that's very very true. But that's true. You can, if it's like an older game, you could probably download it for relatively cheap too. But. That's true because I mean they do have all kinds of sales and stuff on yeah, like downloadable do. games, or if they are older games, which is usually what you're going to GameStop and buying a used game mm-hmm. would be. And then there's also like the sharing of games. Yeah, true. But there are like different family passes and things like that. But what I love about Xbox is if we are on our PCs and it is um, one of the ones that is compatible, compatible like yeah. you can still play an Xbox game on your PC, which is great. That is pretty cool. Yeah. There's a lot of options. I think personally I would go digital just because that's my lifestyle and yeah. I'm just not, I don't and want those discs. The price point and you know, the fact that these are, they haven't be, said prices. I, they haven't. The, the fact that these are all going to be like 8k yeah. machines, like I'm just trying to think of how long it's going to be until people start having 8k TVs. I'm not excited to make available. 8k content. I... I mean, I am, but also I'm not because it's so high dev. It's so, and like, Here's just like the computers, do. the processing, like how expensive, like, oh gosh, it's just a lot. I mean, at least the storage prices are coming down. Yeah, that but is true. even when we did like the 8K video of like the Mac Pro and all of that stuff, like the amount of storage space that it took, it just it's like a lot. ate through the Jellyfish it's server. so much. Well, it's crazy too now that um like, the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, like they're moving to the solid state drives because they have to. I mean, even like the war, the latest Warzone update was 50 gigs. And before that, they were all like 25, 30, like the amount of space that it's taking up. So being able to have like that, you know, expandable, um, like solid state is, is important. Like where are you going to put everything? Yeah. And like the solid state drives are obviously much, much faster. Mm-hmm. So being able to have that is, is definitely way better. And I mean, a lot of those too, you can, uh, use external drives too, which yeah, is nice. Cause I think all of my other games, I used to install them on an external drive. So whenever we would travel and go yeah, home to visit our family, we in. would just bring all the games with us because our family's internet is so terrible that it's like non-existent it's just impossible to download well it also makes me think like what's gonna happen with like you know like cloud-based stuff like is that gonna be the future of our gaming once you know 5g and the internet and is better and things like that like what's what's it gonna be we that and storage for yeah, all storage. of that 8k content it'll just grab your storage like oh here's your saved game there you go we worked on a video talking about our quarantine workflow which was really fun but we were using frame.io to to bring mm-hmm. all of our footage into the cloud our friend tyler was able to edit from home you were able to edit from your house mm-hmm. and it was great because Doing it that way, you're able to even um, like download just proxies mm-hmm. of yeah. them as well. So you're not downloading the full content until at the end to export it all, which I can do on my computer. Yeah, it's it's pretty pretty crazy. Just sometimes your internet's really bad, and I'm like, ugh. It is. It's totally it doesn't bad. make sense. It truly doesn't make any sense. All right, so what games are you looking forward to the most, Justine? Oh my gosh. Okay, I, I honestly can't think of anything else but Animal Crossing. I'm not happy about it, but this game has completely, like, it has sucked away my life. It's I true. Feel like. It has. I'm personally looking forward to The Last of Us 2, which is going to be out. Well, once again, it either came out yesterday or I don't know. When are you posting this? Saturday? Um, Saturday. Okay, it came out yesterday on Friday. Happy Saturday. Woo! Uh, Cyberpunk. Definitely excited about Cyberpunk. I got the Cyberpunk so Xbox controller. You also did as yeah. well. Yeah, I'll probably be doing an unboxing of the Xbox. You, <gasps> pro- you might be. We'll see. My, maybe I don't know. I am. I'm, I'm hoping. I will check Xbox. my mail. Um, so that'll be exciting. Cyberpunk is going to be a very, very exciting game. Um, I. It's weird that E3 wasn't a thing this year. Right? Like, it would have yeah. been over. Like, we had already would have happened. It would have just happened. It's crazy the time misconception that I feel like I'm having because everything is just skewing together. I think Weird. Farouk said it. He's like, yeah, I, I, my weeks kind of go like this. Monday, Friday, Saturday. And he's like, where did the, where did the week it's go? It's very, very true. It's so weird. Oh, what about the new Halo? I'm excited <gasps> about that. We used to have Halo sleepovers. This was like back in, what was that, like 2015? I think it was 2011. 2011. All of our friends would come over. We would all... Well, we didn't even have small monitors. Like, we had... No, massive TVs. We would, would, that's when you could do four people on, like, one screen. So you would play, like, the... 
quad oh. screen, we'd all be playing God, Halo. It was so much fun. Was, I actually got a reminder. It was like, nine years ago, this is what you were doing. I was like, we were having LAN parties. We were. Playing Halo. So I'm excited to play the new Halo. It's going to be pretty cool. I'm actually excited about the PlayStation 5, the um, the Sackboy. Sackboy! Little Boy! Big Planet. I love that game so much that I'm really Sack excited Boy. to play that. Sackboy. You don't have to keep saying that any anymore. <gasps> oh, 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 I am excited about the new haptic features in the PlayStation controller. I'm excited about the, the new controller just in general because it looks like it's a little bit bigger. It does. And they were saying that, um, I was watching a bunch of things about how you can program the haptic feedback. Mm-hmm. It's basically like you're programming waveforms into the the controller. So say you're going up with a sword to slice something. Maybe like a frum. It'll give you the sensation of what that feels like. That is pretty crazy. And if you're using like a bow and arrow, you'll you'll feel the tension in the controllers. So it's really cool. neat how they're going to be able to do that. I mean, they have entire developments just focused on like the haptic feedback. That is pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, because before that, it's like you know you'd have like vibrations, but it was always like just a vibration. It's like oh, something's happening. It's yeah. probably bad, but um, yeah, it's, it's going to be very very interesting. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited to get my hands on that controller. Oh, VR support Ooh. also compatible with the PSVR. I, I'm not a big VR fan just because I get motion sickness very, 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 easily. very quickly. I will, start, I will put on a headset and I'll start playing a game and I'm like, oh man. I love the <laughs> Oculus Quest though. It's, it's cool. great. It's because it's cool. you can kind of just define your little area. There's no cables. There's nothing. It's just the headset. So the future of VR is something I'm, I'm really excited about. I missed the audio part when they were talking about the, the PlayStation, but I, I'm curious to see about the audio because I know Sony has been so like invested in just making their audio incredible. Yeah, I went to the 3D audio event in New York. Wait, you were there too. I, I went as well. You were there. Oh my gosh. I, was I pointed like, to myself. I held the camera. I, I was you there as filmed well. It. Well, I filmed you were it. there. But oh, it, was, it just sounded like really, really cool. So it's kind of like what's going to happen in that space related to like gaming. And I don't know. I think it'll be, it'll be At interesting. At CES, we tested out the Sony car. So it also has that <gasps> 3D reality, or it's actually called 360 reality audio. And it's really amazing how they're able to sort of pinpoint the different locations of where the instruments are. So they're kind of taking that live experience of mm-hmm. being in a location and they showed like this really cool like 3D mapping technology that they use to like Ooh. place the instruments and the sounds. So that's going to be awesome. I know they did recommend wearing headphones when you <gasps> listen yeah. to, to, to the PS5 reveal event. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't either. No, I, I watched um, it on my iPad, but you know. It's fine. Yeah, that's okay. That's all right. Yeah, but yeah. Should be should be very interesting. So, what else should we talk about in this well, podcast? How, how long, long have we been, been recording? How, hey, how long have we been Tyler, recording? Tyler, how long does it say we've been recording? Yeah. Like Not thirty five minutes. Uh, like an hour. An hour? No, really? Maybe about an hour. No. Around. I'm really? swe- I'm a little sweaty, so it feels like an hour of sweat. I don't think so. If we talk that, how do I can't tell? My microphone has been sweated off. We don't even know how long we're recording. No, it's still there. Okay. Just, you just, can't see it, but Jenna's checking your microphone. You, my, some people, might somebody be able might to see, see it. it. We don't know. There's a little bit of sticky sweat happening. Um, so I guess maybe we'll just talk about like quarantine, kind of opening, like everything's opening back up. Like how do you how do you feel? Because I don't know. Looking at the numbers, doesn't look promising. It's weird the emotional damage it has done to me. Like going out in public feels weird. I see people eating at restaurants, and I'm like. <gasps> What are you doing? I don't want to be at a restaurant. Like, I don't want to do this. Like, it's just, it's weird how much has changed in two months and how my mindset has changed. Yeah, I feel like even just going back to like the gym, I mean, all the different rules, like they just started opening up the jujitsu gym again. Yeah. And now they're cycling in people for 30 minutes. You stay with the same partner. You have to come in with your gi on and Whoa. then you leave. Like you come in and you leave. Whoa. You do your 30 minute thing, you're out. And then the next session comes in, everything is sanitized and you have to wear a mask too. Oh, that's going to be hard. It's going to be really, yeah. But that makes sense. I mean, you're like... You are, you're, it's very close con. Very, yeah. very mm. close. So, so that would make sense. It's, and that's I think a lot of these places too, like you have to sign new waivers. 
to say that you're not going to sue them if you get or corona. you have to disclose it to them if you get it probably yeah true because if you don't like oh hey by the way hey just want to let you know yeah that would uh, make sense what's interesting sorry i cut you off no but, i was gonna say um, the citizen app um oh, well, the temperature De- jenna's still talking the temperature thing uh whole foods has um i don't actually know what it is but it's one of these like infrared cameras and someone sits there and they monitor people who walk by they monitor their temperature it's i was probably the one of the fleer like it's, it's that same technology. I'm gonna go actually inquire about it next okay, time I yeah. go to Whole Foods because I'm like, this is. Re- I mean, it's only in one section of it, so it's like, how many people are walking by that section? Hmm. But it's uh, it's it should be at the entrance. It's not. Oh. It's by the pizza. What? <laughs> <laughs> like, we know those Corona kids want their They're pizza. Like, Where's that pizza? Um, but well, I, it's or maybe if like they suspect someone, maybe they like. I have no idea. It's, it's very, very strange, though. And they're actually, they gutted my Whole Foods for the um, express lane, and they're going to be making self-checkout. Really? To kind of maybe deal with, like, less I don't know what I don't person know. contact. Yeah. But then if you're self-checking yeah, out, you, everybody is doing it. I'm not uh, sure. I'm not sure. And, and like, just be a store thing. All of, like, the stores now have, like, plastic up in front of the uh, cash registers, mm-hmm. which I think is good because you need to protect the people that are working here. For sure. For you sure. You know, that's, yeah. that's, like, they're putting themselves at risk. Mm-hmm. So it's all very, very strange. Also seeing like more like we do not accept cash. Like that's been a thing, but like I've seen more signs now. I was like, uh, absolutely no cash. Like think about how dirty money is. It's Just disgusting. Being passed along, like seeing like the digital currencies being like, well, I mean, it's been a big thing, but I feel like now more so than ever, people are like, we don't want to touch your money. No, I mean, but, but like if somebody, still take that, it. yeah, but like, you know, like if somebody's like, if, hey, I'm gonna, you, you'll take. I'll still, I'll still take yeah. it. I was gonna say, can you wash it? I mean, do you think there's some sort of? I want. Do people you wash do like money? Wet. I mean, not like money laundering, but like oh, that's a whole separate. laundering. Have you watched? Um, Does money get cleaned ever? I'm googling this. What's the show about money laundering? Uh, Ozark. Oh my god, Justine, have you watched Ozark season? The newest one? No, three. I'm still looking up, can you clean money? You have to watch Ozark season three. Four. Three? But see, I didn't finish one. Okay, so well, I need like, to... What have you been doing for two and a half months? Do uh, you think, okay, at this point, I'm over 570 hours of Animal Crossing. What do you think I've been no. doing? What have I been watching? I don't know. I watched, what did I watch that I watched? Um, let me Google it really quickly. Staten Island King? Staten Island King. It was a movie. It's a movie. I watched it. The King of Staten Island. Oh. It had Pete Davidson in it. Bill Burr. It's quite good. From Judd Apatow. That's the, I guess that's the end. It was a good... I enjoyed it. Okay. Cool. It was about a firefighter. Oh, nice. I am... Yeah. Um, Two firefighters. Fi- yeah. Mm-hmm. Fires. You know, fire. after I watched... This is probably too much. After I watched the R. Kelly documentaries <gasps> and then just felt weird. I haven't I watched, watched that yet. The Epstein... You watch that too? I feel very bad about the world and people who are in it. But yeah, it's crazy. It's just crazy. It's such an eye-opening thing to what is happening that we don't know. There's so much happening. It's very messed up and people are very, very messed up. I don't like it. Do we end here? Yeah. This is ending on a bad note. Okay, let's talk about when Maddie. we're recording this. Today is Maddie's birthday, everyone. Happy he birthday. is five years old. To Maddie. Also our dad's birthday. Yes, I, I kept saying, oh my gosh, it's Maddie's birthday. And the internet's like, well, but it's, it's also your dad's, dad's birthday. I'm like, yeah, we know, but you don't know our dad. Yeah, so it's our dad's birthday. It's Maddie's birthday. And yesterday we took him to Healthy Spot to get all the treats and toys that he wanted. He didn't want anything. He wanted to talk to the people behind the counter because he knows that they always give him a treat when he comes in. So I'm there like, Maddie, was pick up your toys. A very cute video. You have to watch it. It's on the dodo oh. of Maddie, and it's like Maddie's little story. It's so over dramatic. I love it. Like they very did, they dramatic. edited it to be like their classic dodo dramatic style, and I love I it. Love he it. Was so little. He was so small. Oh my gosh, he was a little baby. He's covered in his own poop. He did. He pooped all over himself and me in the back of a car. He had worms. He did have worms. He still has problems. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's better. He's happy now. And his furs are beautiful thankfully the oh, i gotta oh man i gotta get him a groomer's appointment because he smells like a trash he's rotten trash can. we changed his food but he's still having tummy issues yeah i don't know what well, to do well we're gonna take him to the vet tomorrow so hopefully we, we, are. Get, we get some answers well, we will update but. you guys make sure you tell maddie happy birthday make sure you go check us out on twitch yes twitch i just seen twitch jenna e Zarek. and our discord and of course you can find me everywhere else as i just seen and jenna e Zarek. except youtube you're it's me jenna e it's also jenna e Zarek. oh really uh, yeah. since when like four years ago oh my god really yeah <laughs> it's fine all right 
It's uh, this. Hi. It's, well, if you type, it's me, Jenny. It works too. Just, we'll see you guys later. Wear your masks, even though I know you don't want to. Wear them wash anyway. Wash your hands. And wash be your nice hands. to each other. Please be nice. If that, it's just, just, be, be, just be nice. Nice. Okay, bye. We'll see you guys whenever we do another podcast. Next Saturday. Is it next Saturday? I think we're going to try Saturdays. Cool. Cheers. Cheers. How long was this? I'm sweating. Um.